This video program was made in St. Petersburg, Russia. In this program, we will tell you about the Rehabilitation Center New Life, which was founded by two local churches so that people addicted to narcotic drugs, alcohol, and other substances might in it receive freedom from this slavery. We believe that instead of the demonic dependency on drugs, they can obtain a most wonderful dependency in the world, dependency on God. May this video program help you to better understand this horrible problem of our day. St. Petersburg, Dibenka Street. How long have you been on drugs? Three years. Three years you take drugs. And how did you get addicted? How? I was offered to try it for free. For a week they induced and I refused. And then somehow gave in and decided to try. Who induced? Acquaintances. Where do you get the money for drugs? By stealing. Any other way of getting it? By prostitution. How do you do it? Stopping cars, that is, offering yourself on the road. And how much do you get? What's the rate? Talaisho, three dollars. Talay, five bucks. And how do they treat you? Treating, it differs. Some swindle. Some do. Some are mean. Others, others, on the contrary, give money and say, I don't need anything from you. Just go home. I'll give you more, whatever you need. Just go home. Don't stand here. All sorts of things happen. Were you forced to do it first time you started? I had to, sure. You needed money? Yes. That's when you get cracked up. And do you have parents? Mother, father, and sister, too. And how they? Do they know that you live here? Mother knows. Has she been here? Here ha she hasn't been, no. And how does she feel about it? How can she feel? What do you think? What's the reason that I live here? I stole car tires from my father. He had a set of tires for his car, new ones. And so... One by one, I sold them all, $15 a piece, about seven months ago. For a long time, he wasn't aware of it, but I knew once he's found out, and if I happened to be at home at that moment, he could easily kill me in anger. He lately, because I was taking drugs, began to drink heavily. Would you want to do away with drugs? Do you want to quit prostitution and live a normal life? Now, at this point, that I'm totally bust, I do really want. Do you think you could do it yourself? Myself? How? My father won't let me back home. But how do you imagine your further life? How would it go? Will you keep flowing with tide, living in the basement, prostitution, drugs? I didn't think about future at all, simply never thought, <coughs> we'll go as it goes, <coughs> but what would you like it to be? <coughs> what I would like, to begin with, I would love to quit drugs, of course, then what else? To dress up nicely, like other girls, they're so nice and attractive, and I'm so dirty all over in blood stains. We were just stopping cars. He looks at me and says, hey, what cave did you crawl out of? Such a shame. I just want to live like normal people. How old are you? 19. 19 years old. Do you love Andre? Andre, and how long have you taken drugs? It's already fourth year. Is your dose big? Well, four times a day I take it. Four times a day. 
And do you live in, in the basement for a long time? From the spring? Since the spring. Generally, I've lived like this in basements for about a year. And you had a friend here. There was another girl here. She was also a prostitute. She went out on the road, got in the car. Igor saw how she was getting in and never came back. Her documents are there. These are her documents? Yes. And is there a, a picture of her? So she got in the car and disappeared, right? She went out for persecution to make money. Yes. From your experience, what could have happened to her? She might have infected somebody and they took her somewhere and beat up. Sometimes I heard girls are taken like this in a company. They can drive to faraway places and on the road they use her as a bribe for the road police. Do whatever they feel like keep her in in the boot of the car and this way take her around I cannot tell anything they might have killed her anything can be Andre do you love Lena yes and what is your attitude to her prostitution negative but she makes money for both of you I tell her but what can I do but if she quits doing it, you'd have nothing to buy the drugs for, <coughs> right? On the 26th of December, having become one more victim of the drug addiction, Andre died in the basement of gangrene.